Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. This is part two of using BoomWriter in school. In the first video, we took a look at the teacher side of things. Now we're into a student account. So the student here, Max, has logged into his BoomWriter account and he's selected WordWriter. And now he sees a couple of assignments that are waiting for him. So he has vocabulary basics grade five that he needs to work on. So he selects that. And we can see teacher's instructions here. Word limit and the word bank. So he knows he has to use all of those words in his story. So let's go ahead and write the entry. And he might say, once upon a time, there was a barking dog. The dog would run and chase cats. The cats would meow at the dog while he was running. All right, so Max is partway through the assignment here. He can see he's used four of the eight words. He's going to save it. And he's going to say, I've finished my entry. Now, obviously he hasn't, but I'm doing this so that you can see on the teacher side of things what it looks like when a student submits something that's incomplete. So I finished my entry. So now I'm going to log out of Max's account. We'll go back into uh, the teacher account. Okay. So back here in my teacher account under WordWriter, I have my vocabulary basics grade five. And I can see now I have one assignment that needs approval. And that's from Max. So what I can do here is I can say approve, and that would be indicating to Max that I've accepted it. Or well, I can request revisions. And I could say to him, good start. You need to use four more vocabulary words in your story. And so when Max logs back into his account, he'll be able to see the feedback from me, the teacher. I'll go back to the project, and here in my project management, you'll see I have a suggested revision that I'm waiting for from Max. So that's WordWriter from BoomWriter, a great little tool for getting students to practice using vocabulary words in context while writing.